Hey guys, we all G here. I uh, know I haven't uh, posted a video in a while, but uh, I've decided to go ahead and uh, you know get back to it um, on, on the Wii uh, scene that is, um, and I'll be posting videos as as much as possible, giving you all the up to date content and releases on what's new with uh, uh, the Wii homebrew scene. Um, you know, as far as hacking the Wii. Um, and you know all the different things that you can do with the hacked Wii. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you the new way uh, to actually install the Homebrew Channel on your Wii. The Homebrew Channel is going to allow you um, to load uh, .dol files, and these files are ba basically executables um, that hold. Uh, either a game or a program um, basically the it's the software that that is actually the homebrew program um, and you need the homebrew installed on your Wii in order to run these files um, and that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do um, and this is the this is the newest way the latest way it's going to allow you to hack uh, any system menu version of the Wii from 3.0 to 4.2 uh, a few things that you are going to need here. Uh, you will need the Hack Me download, uh, which is right here. Uh, you also need, depending on your um, system menu, uh, you're going to need, if you have uh, System Menu 3.0 through System Menu 4.1, you're going to need the Banner Bomb Exploit Version 1, which is right here in this download. Um, if you have uh, System Menu uh, 4.2, then you're going to need Banner Bomb Exploit Version 2. Uh, all the links, all the downloads will be in the description for every one of my videos, uh, so it makes it easy for you to, uh, to access. So once again, 3.0 to 4.1 System Menu, you're going to need Version 1 of the Banner Bomb. Um, if you have System Menu 4.2, which is the latest System Menu, then you will need a uh, banner bomb uh, version 2. Uh, you're also going to need some type of extraction software. I use WinRAR, um, and you can get that at their uh, website, uh, which I have also posted on in the description of this video. So once you have downloaded both the Hack Me installer and uh, the banner bomb exploit, either version 1 or version 2, and you have the extraction software, uh, what you're going to do is right click on the file. Uh, you can do extract here. Uh, I extract them on the desktop. It's always the easiest place. I recommend you do the same. But of course you can always extract them to whatever location. Um, and I've already done that. Let me go ahead and delete that for you guys just so you can see what it looks like. You do extract here. It does its uh, little pop up. And then you have the Hack Me installer. And this is the uh, Banner Bomb Exploit version 1. And then you can go ahead and hit Extract here. And it gives you a file called Private. Um, now another thing you're gonna, going to need is, of course, an SD card. And the, the Wii is going to be reading from the, from the SD card. Uh, so, and of course, you're going to need some way to connect that to your computer. Um, so you, you, usually it would be like an SD card reader. So um, insert your SD card into your computer. Um, on Vista here, and it's pretty similar uh, on XP if you're on XP and Windows 7 as well. Uh, you hit the uh, start button. You're going to go to computer or my computer, and you're going to double click on your SD card. Um, now this first folder here, the default folder, the, or the first uh, level, um, is what we call the root of the uh, SD card. Um, so I'll be referring to that as the root. Um, and what you're going to need to do is double click the Hack Me uh, installer version point 0.6. Uh, you're going to see a file in there called boot.elf. You're going to take that file, boot.elf, you're going to drag it to the root of your SD card. Okay. And then also uh, the private folder that you got from the banner bomb exploit you're going to take that and drag it into the root of your SD card as well and that's it and you're ready to go and we'll go ahead I'll go ahead and show you uh, what to do from this point okay guys uh, once you have those files on your SD card 
uh, don't insert your SD card into the Wii just yet. Uh, what you want to do is go ahead and turn the Wii on. Uh, kind of get past these menus here, and, and sorry about the uh, the poor quality on the camera. Um, but what you're going to want to do is uh, go to Wii, uh, Wii Options. You're going to go to uh, you're going to go to uh, Data Management. You're going to go to uh, Channels. You're going to hit the SD card tab on the top right. Um, and now this is where you actually want to insert your SD card. So go ahead and insert the SD card and what's going to happen is you're going to get a pop-up. Okay, so now we got the pop-up and what it's basically saying is do you want to load the boot.dole or the boot.elf file? And of course you want to hit yes and then it'll uh, prompt you to uh, press a button to get past this screen so you press one to continue uh, now right here is the hack me installer uh, main menu it does kind of a, a review of your system it tells you what can be installed and what can't be installed what we definitely want is the homebrew channel uh, DVD-X is a great app to have. It allows you to play DVDs on your Wii. So, you know, of course, uh, everything's definitely optional, but I recommend DVD-X and the Homebrew Channel. And the last one would be Boot Me. Now, Boot Me is a great thing to have. Um, it basically allows you to recover your Wii um, if anything, you know, is to ever happen to it. Um, as far as the Wii being bricked or, uh, you know, you, you're just not able to uh, to use it due to some type of software um, that you may have corrupted. Um, once again, it's a great thing to have. And what it's going to tell you is it can either be installed as uh, Boot 2 um, or that it can be installed as an iOS. Either way, it's great. It's better if you can install it as a Boot 2, um, but iOS works you know just just as good so go ahead and press a to hit continue but what you want to do is the first one of course we want the homebrew channel so hit install the homebrew channel and then hit yes to uh, continue and it will install the uh, the latest homebrew channel for you okay and then you hit the a button to continue again you go down to install DVDX and then you hit yes to continue and it's going to install DVD-X for you um, and then green success okay so then we hit continue again and then you're going to go down to boot me um, and you're going to uh, it, it, you know it may say install boot me as iOS or install boot me as boot 2 like I said boot 2 is always better but for some ways you know you, you're just not going to be able to um, but if it does give you that option, go ahead and install it as boot 2. If not, go ahead and hit install boot me as iOS. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that one. But once it's done, you can just return to the main menu. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, we can go ahead and exit out. So now you're in the homebrew channel. You're just gonna, probably going to see a blue background with some bubbles. Um, and that's exactly what we're looking for. I know it may not seem like much right now, uh, but it, it's definitely uh, you know what you want. Um, you know, it was that simple. Your Wii it has been hacked and it's ready to start loading some homebrew applications. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, hope you learned something. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the, in the uh, comment section. Uh, press the like button if you, if you like this video. Um, and uh, you can also email me at weology at gmail.com. Um, once again, guys, appreciate your time. Thanks a lot. And uh, happy hacking.